Hi you guys, welcome back to another video or if you're new here, welcome here. My name is Kyleen. Clearly I am pregnant. <laughs> this is my second baby, my first daughter, and I am just so excited to share this space with you guys. I am so close to meeting her. When you guys see this, I'll be a day shy of 36 weeks. And I'm just so excited that the room is done. I don't have to stress about it. And I'm just so ready to share it with you guys. Everything in this space is basically done. I do have one thing that I'm not showing, which is her name sign. Uh, when I did this tour with my son, I put it in there and then I had to edit it out and it was just so chaotic. So I'm just gonna not put it up this time. My pregnancy brain didn't think of that last time. But that is the only item uh, that we're missing. Of course, there might be some things here and there that I add or take away or just change, but for the most part, this is the bones of her nursery and I love it. I feel so blessed that we have this space for her and it's just so beautiful and calm and neutral which is what i love if you guys don't love that then this is the wrong video for you but to me it's very calming and something just hit my face it is very calming and it fits just the rest of our house i will try my best to leave links to everything that i can in the description box there's so many little like trinkets and things here so if i miss something just let me know but yeah if you guys are curious just check there but i won't talk too much let's just jump right into my baby girl's nursery. When you walk into her room, this is the first view that you will see. And I am just completely obsessed with it. Um, I feel like the first thing that we need to talk about is the wallpaper, which is from a company called Rocky Mountain Decals. This is not sponsored, but I do have a discount code if you guys want a discount from any of their products. Um, I don't make any money off of it for doing that, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. But it is just so beautiful. I feel like the print is perfect. It is dainty, but it adds just a really girly touch and I love it. Right here is where I'm gonna put her name sign. It's gonna be very small and just barely above her crib and I think that's gonna be beautiful. And then while we're kinda up here, <laughs> this is her light. It is from Amazon. I just loved how airy it was. I love the rattan look. And yeah, I just think it's so pretty. This right here is my little nursing corner, rocking corner for her. Um, the majority of this is actually from my son's nursery. These little baskets are from Ikea for a footstool and those were in his nursery. And so was his swivel chair. It's from World Market. It doesn't rock, it actually just sways like back and forth. And I really liked that with him. Um, and then I have this pillow from Target and a Serenoni blanket there because it is just so cozy. And this time I actually have a little nightstand table. I didn't have this with my son and so I was constantly just like putting things here or like next to me. So I'm really excited to have this. This is just a lamp from Target, um, a little accessory from a company I'll leave down below, and then just a little vase. And then I also hid her sound machine right here because one, I find it easier with my son if the sound machine is kind of like level to their head. It blocks out more noise, but two, you don't have to see it. Moving on to her crib situation. The crib is from Ikea, and then we actually have a Newton mattress. I am obsessed with those mattresses. And then the crib sheet is from Gumi Kids. Her little bassinet is from a company called Shop Love DUA, and this is actually going to be in our room. But for now, I just think it looks super cute and precious in here. And I just have her Cuddle and Kind doll and then this was Rocky's it's like a little um, soother kind of thing with like a bear head I just thought it was super cute in here and then this area I think is so fun I actually found these shelves in the Target dollar section they were five dollars each and so I flipped one of them over so that I could hang some of her clothes um, the left one is from Quincy May from Target the center is from Axel and Rose it's a small shop here in Arizona and then this right one is actually from my friend's company, Little Weekenders, but I do believe she's shutting it down, but it just looks so cute here. And then I just styled some of her accessories. This book, I'm actually giving it to her for Easter, but I thought it looked so cute in here. Little sunglasses. Um, this bunny is from Denmark, I believe. My grandparents got it when they were out of country and it is just so cute. And then we just have a little toy and a couple of vases there. I wanted to quickly mention this whole curtain situation here too because this is completely black out. These are black out curtains. Um, if you can see on the other side, they are black. And then I also have black out blinds. And that was just like the first thing we did in this room because sleep is so important to me. And keeping this room dark is a necessity. You can see there's so much natural light because I have that window and then these two windows. So we did that right off the bat. They're not the cutest things. They're very bulky. I would love like a dainty curtain, 
but like I said, sleep is more important. I feel like the lighting is kind of hard in here to show you guys her rug, but this rug was actually downstairs um, in our living room, and it's not the cleanest rug, but I actually just love the texture, and I've tried to get all the stains out, and it's just not possible, so I layered it with this rug, which we actually stood on uh, when I married my husband, so it's super special to have that in here. Um, but as you turn around, like I said, you just see those two windows um, with the blackout situation again, and then you move over this way to her dresser situation, which also I just think is so cute and unique, and I'm really happy with this. We'll start with her dresser. This is the exact same one in my son's nursery as well, which I wasn't super happy about, but I did add some wood around the corners, and you really can't tell. Um, so yeah, it just really looks the same, but that's okay. And I also got the same basket for her laundry from Ikea. And then we just moved over his changing pad. This is the Kikaroo. It's been so nice because it just wipes clean. And then I threw just like a little basket of swaddles and then some pompous grass and wheat grass in this huge vase. I actually used this at her baby shower. Um, this used to be downstairs, but I thought it was super pretty here. And then over here, my friend's grandma actually made this vase, which is so cute. And then this is just a Target dollar find. But then I really loved this. My sister actually had this idea and I felt like it was so unique. But I had all these palms and she was like, why don't you make it like coming out of the frame? So we have this frame from Target and then these cute palm leaves just kind of coming out the side. I literally just tucked these behind here and then tucked them into each other and they've been staying perfectly. This section here, I just wanted an area to hang her wraps on. I might change this as she gets older, but this is a Solly wrap and this is a wild bird wrap. And then I also wanted to display another outfit that I thought was super cute. Um, this one is from Jamie K and I just love it. And then I actually got this from my baby shower for Rocky and I just thought it would be cute to add that there as well. So that's super simple here. And then the last piece of decor is this little banner. It's from Imani Collective. I just thought it was a very cute saying and I felt like it went well with just like the floral theme we have going on here and it just was a nice simple touch so I'm gonna pan around for you guys this is the door to enter you see this right to the left here's her closet and then all of this it's kind of like two walls it's like this wall this wall I hope you guys enjoyed her space here. I feel like that took me two seconds to show you, but it took a lot of time and effort to actually put it together. But I just feel like this space feels so calm and just so beautiful, and I'm just really excited to bring her home in it. It also makes me want to decorate literally every space in our house, but yeah, we're gonna start here. Um, I also wanted to share that I'm not gonna show like what's in her dresser or in her closet because it is not organized or clean or really done in a great manner. But this week I am filming a Nest With Me vlog where I'm gonna be tackling that. I didn't wanna film that until I showed you guys this room so that way now I can film in here. So look forward to that video. But yeah, that is her nursery. That is her space, that is where baby girl is going to come home and live. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to show you the name sign and share that with you guys and just share her. It's all just getting so close. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. That is where I'm going to keep like the most updated information um, as we get closer to meeting her. But yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.